everyone! I wanted to talk to you today about not buying. When people realized that I didn't buy all of last year and I took in one palette from Lynette but got rid of a whole bunch of others in exchange, so I don't know if you consider that, but I still haven't bought. But anyhow, they are very amazed. How did you go all that time without buying? I want to tell you four things about not buying. You know when you have sugar, how you get a high and then you crash? That's the same with buying. And you go through withdrawal when you first don't buy. It gets easier and you get used to not having that sugar, not having that high, and you feel better because you're more steady. <laughs> so the first is the worst. Hang in there and know that it is breaking an addiction. The second thing is you have to stop and be aware. And I want to tell you a little story. I was watching a YouTube video and they were talking about a dupe for Glam Glow masks. So I immediately went on Amazon, I found the product, and I was reading it's not good for dry skin. So then I thought, well, maybe Glam Glow makes something that is for dry skin. So I started researching that. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to go on Vitacost and see if they have hydrating masks. And then I stopped and I went, Al, hold on. Before you started watching that video, you didn't even need a mask. Now you suddenly have gone from looking at that dupe to looking at something completely different. It's like, why? Being aware of your thoughts can help you stop and not go down that panicked, I have to have path. Number three is shift your focus. And there's two things you can shift your focus to. Whether you're talking makeup, clothes, anything, shift your focus to what you have. So if I think I wanna go buy some makeup, I look at my inventory numbers. If you haven't done an inventory, do that. I swear, it changes so much. If that doesn't satisfy it, I go into my stash and say I'm thinking of buying a brown toned palette. I will pull out similar colors and start swatching them. I'll start playing with them. Before you know it, I am having so much fun enjoying what I have. Not only do I realize I don't need what I've got, what I thought I wanted, that you know I was after to buy, but I have such fabulous things that I really am enjoying rediscovering. This is the same whether it's shoes, clothes, anything like that. Go into what you already have and rediscover. The second thing that you can do around shifting your focus is shift your focus completely away. So the same way as if you want a donut, you go out for a jog. You do something completely different. Well, if you're thinking of buying and you're all obsessed with that, clean the house. Go read a book. Go do something. Put it completely out of your mind. Shift your focus to something productive, whether that's gardening or it's going for a jog or something else. Surround yourself with like-minded people. So if you're going to surround yourself on YouTube with hauls, you're going to be very, very tempted. Whereas if you surround yourself with people who are rediscovering their stash, doing weekly makeup baskets, um, panning palettes, that will be more encouraging to you. If you have a friend that you can phone, that is fabulous. If not, join the Facebook page that Ms. Kristen321 set up and go on there and say, hey, help, I'm tempted by this and we can help you through it. You do have to do these steps of looking at your stash, of being aware of your thoughts, of shifting your focus, and all of those things will help. I promise it gets easier over time and you will enjoy and discover so much from your stash. When I use something for a while, it's amazing how much I enjoy it versus when I used to buy something, I would maybe use it once and then it would go into my drawer and I forgot about it. I have broken that high and I truly am enjoying and loving what I have in a way that I never did when I was in the buy, buy, buy mode. <laughs> so I hope that this was helpful and gives you some tips of things that you can do to not buy and enjoy what you have. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you next time.